we are in a place right now that we've not been over the last six years that I've been in, involved in this battle. We are as close to actually having oil industry vessels in our waters at any time that, that I can remember. So seismic blasting, what is the big deal? It's a huge deal. Up and down the Atlantic coast, the Gulf of Mexico, even the Pacific coast, the potential for injury to the sea life is something that is just beginning to be understood, but it's understood that it's not good. And we're not talking just whales and dolphins. We're talking about the, the phytoplankton, the krill, some of the, the basis of the food chain in the ocean and in our sounds and our estuaries is at risk. The blast for, from a seismic air gun blast for, for folks that don't know, every 10 seconds or so for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, months on end, these vessels will be out blasting. It is one of the loudest man-made noises that we put in the sea. These blasts can be heard up to 2,500 miles and, and actually can interfere with the communications of mammals in the ocean. This is an environment that is unlike no other. And when we start ruining this environment, it's not coming back. If it does come back completely, it's gonna take years, decades, hundreds of years. Look at what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico. Look what happened with the Exxon Valdez. We've still not recovered. The chances of them actually seeing what's there with seismic testing is pretty slim. To actually know what's out there, you have to go out there and punch a hole in the seafloor. Just as, perfect example, the Deepwater Horizon was an exploratory well. Many people don't understand that. That was not a production well. It was actually just an exploratory well. If you live in New York City or Dallas or, or wherever, you have a stake in this. And you need to be thinking about, okay, maybe I wanna to go to the Atlantic coast someday for a vacation. Well, you're not gonna do that if there's tar balls floating up on the sand. That's the potential we have. Maybe you're saying, hey, I wanna go, I'm gonna go charter a fishing vessel to go do some deep sea fishing. And you get out there and you can't find a fish because seismic blasting has made them all disappear. These are forever decisions we're making right now. What we're asking for costs nothing. It costs absolutely nothing. You know, just leave us alone. There is no need to go into the Atlantic and do seismic blasting or any type of oil exploration right now. So who's it up to? It's up to us. It's up to that scuba diver, to that commercial fisherman, to the mom and pop who are running a, a local restaurant, to the hotels, to everything you can think of along the coast of the Atlantic is gonna be impacted if this happens. I'm here in North Carolina. North Carolina is kind of ground zero to this whole issue. And we're fighting this thing tooth and nail, along with people up and down the coast. What we really need is your help. We need you to contact your congressman. If you're in Colorado, Nebraska, Illinois, North Dakota, Texas, wherever, contact your congressman. Say, look, we need to protect our coasts. It's a complicated issue, but the answer is simple. No, no seismic blasting, no offshore drilling. We cannot afford the risk.